Ah, I knew you'd show up. It's good to see you. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and this is the weekend of September 20th. Now, if you watch my show regularly, thank you very much. <laughs> you know what we do here. We usually focus in on a hot penny stock because that's what I trade. Stocks under five bucks virtually every day, and you can find them on every market. Well, over the last month, I've been doing something different. I've been sharing information with you on the weekends, which I like to call trading insights, how to make the most from these hot charts that we're finding. About a month ago, I gave you a video on supports and resistances, the start for any trade. You really should not be getting into a trade until you know your entry price, your exit price. You should know where you're getting out before you get in and your stop loss. And you can't get any of those numbers without supports and resistances. The next video was scalping, how to cash in on those supports and resistances, get in there and start taking those gains. The third video was on bullish patterns. If you're going to play hot charts, you got to find hot charts first. And the last video was on trailing stop losses. Stop losses are an automatic sale underneath your entry, underneath the resistance. So if it goes underneath that resistance, chances are it's going to fall. You've got a sell order there that automatically engages. Not guaranteed to engage. If the price moves really fast, it could pass it up. So I like to keep my finger on the trigger just in case. But a trailing stop loss attaches to your entry. So as the price rises, so does your stop loss. And it will just keep going up with the price until it falls back the amount that you chose. Then it will sell. So you're taking more gains on a trade that you really weren't expecting. Well, this week we're going to add on to that with another building block. We are going to look at some new MAs, moving averages. Those squiggly lines on your chart, the blue one, the orange one, the yellow one, and the red one the 9, 20, 50, and 200 day MA. We are going to get rid of those and we're going to bring in some itty bitty tiny ones. We're going to bring in the 5, the 8, and the 13. These are Fibonacci numbers, folks. Fibonacci doesn't mean a thing to you, does it? <laughs> doesn't mean a whole lot to me either. Fibonacci is a mathematical science. It is a natural phenomena everywhere. Happens all the time. Our galaxies are formed in the Fibonacci spiral. Our seashells, Fibonacci spiral. The storms that are created and developed on the planet all are started with the Fibonacci mathematical equation. We find that we can use this equation to determine how many bees are going to be born so many generations down the line. We've used Fibonacci to stop outbreaks of big explosions of rabbits. The problem is with Fibonacci is it's not an exact science. Truth of the matter is there is no scientific evidence to back up Fibonacci numbers. None at all, but it is a natural phenomenon. So we are just tapping into this power. Well, they decided to try Fibonacci on the stock market and folks, it works like a dream. So what we're going to do is get rid of those big MAs, which don't work for us. We are trading in five to 20 minutes. We're in a very, very small window. How can a 200 day MA help us on that? It really can't. So we're going to go down to some real, real tight MAs, the five, the eight, and the 13. And we're going to go over to my free trading platform, Thinkorswim, and we're going to compare charts to our old MAs and our new MAs to see how much better they can help us make money. You ready to do that? I am too. Come on. So here we are at my free trading platform, Think or Swim. And before we get started, I'm going to ask for your indulgence. Bear with me, folks, as I fumble around with these charts, trying to get them to look the way we need to see them. As you can see, I've got two charts up, the exact same chart. The difference between the two, the one on the left is using our MAs, moving averages, 9, 20, 50, and 200. The one on the right is using our new EMAs, our Fibonacci numbers, 5, 8, and 13. Now, there is a significant difference between a MA and an EMA. The difference, a moving average is just a standard average. 200-day MA takes 200 days of prices, adds them all up, divides 200 into it, and comes up with an average. Puts that on the chart. An EMA does the exact same thing 
but it puts more relevance, more credence on current prices. So when the price moves, it's more sensitive to that and you'll actually get movement out of your EMA, especially when you're using tight little EMAs like the 5, 8, and 13 compared to a 20, 50, and a 200. And you're going to see the difference right now. Now, I do not want to overwhelm you folks. I know too much information can be just as bad as too little. So what I'm going to do is keep this simple and brief. I'm going to give you only two examples and it's really all you need because they're prime examples. I am going to show you an example of a breakout to the upside and an example of a breakout to the downside, which is all you need when you're scalping, right? You want to know when to get in and when to get out. Everything in between is profit taking. So once you learn this, you can start using it immediately and start getting some experience and probably start making more money. So let's dive on into this. Right now we are looking at ticker IMRX. I am on a five minute chart. We are only going to be looking at the information in between these two lines. That's two bars on our five minute chart. That's a 10 minute section we're looking at. And that's really all we need to focus in on. So as you can see, we've got a breakout here, a big breakout. And we had an atypical breakout set up before she did it. Now, I recognize these pretty simple, but that's not the point here. I want to know if I can catch this breakout earlier. That's the whole point. So let's jump into this. I'm going to zoom in right about here. So there's our 10 minutes, two bars, but I want to get in closer. So let's jump into this even a little closer yet. Let me get my right button here. I told you to bear with me. <laughs> this is perfect. All right, folks. So there's our two bars underneath all the MAs. The very next bar is the breakout. That's why we're looking at this 10 minutes here. When I look at my information here, am I aware that the breakout's going to happen the next bar? I mean, I know this is an atypical breakout and I'm watching for a breakout, but can I know that the very next bar is the breakout? So let's look at our information. Here's our 200 MA. It's climbing. Not bad. Our 50 day MA is falling. Not good. Those two are fighting against each other. That's a divergence. Then we've got our 20, which was flat and starting to climb and our nine, which is now starting to climb. So the two strong ones aren't actually helping. The two little ones show us inclinations, but I don't know if there's enough information there to actually be able to make a decision. So back it up with your oscillators, folks. Come down here and look at them. I'm not getting anything here. This is totally flat, totally flat, totally flat. And we have a little bit of rise on our RSI, but not enough to call it a signal that we were going to have a big breakout on the next bar. Now let's take a look at our EMAs. Let's jump into that same area we jumped in over there. There's our 10 minutes. I'm going to focus in a little bit tighter here. Try to get this to look the same. All right. The thing about MAs, EMAs, they all have current, like the wind blowing, water flowing. And if you get them all going the same direction, you've got a strong current. You throw your Dixie cup on that, where's it going to go? Where the current's going. So we look for the MAs to all be going the same direction. Right here, they were messy, messy. We couldn't tell what was going on. Throw a Dixie cup on that, who knows where it's going to go. All right, here's our 10 minutes. Let's even look at it closer. All right, can you see that? I want to get even closer, folks. You need to see this. All right, there's our five day MA, there's our eight, and there's our 13. Here's our 10 minute section. We are underneath all of our MAs, just like we are here. At the end of the 10 minutes, we were still under all of our MAs over here. Here, our EMA just broke out through the middle one, the eight, just broke out over the 13, the red one, and we've still got time before our 10 minutes is done. Folks, this is the crossover. The crossover is all you need to look at. When you get your blue line crossing those other lines and going to the top, that's it. Your breakout is happening right now. And we had time. This actually, let's see if I can zoom in on that even some more. 
you can see there was lots of time here. These are five minute bars, not a one minute chart. So we had time to set up our trade to get in over top of this support right here and catch this puppy. Not miss that first bar, but catch it. Yes, yeah, she came back down. You could have probably caught it there, but this is just one chart. You don't know if she's going to come back down. My point is you could definitely see right here, folks, that that line crossed all these lines in that 10 minute section and told you that the next bar was going to be a run. And look at all of our MAs now. They are all going up just like these, but look at how messy these are. That's not pretty. That's pretty. Very pretty. All right. Now let's take a look at a breakout to the downside. This is ticker XPON. Same thing here, folks. We're only going to zoom in on 10 minutes right here. You can see we had a strong run. Oh my God, this baby jumped from six cents up to 22 cents. Wasn't this fun to play? And we played it all day Friday in the Discord group. Come on over, folks. I'm on the free members page. You can come in there. We are trading. We are giving entries and exits and finding hot stocks. So we were watching this one all that day. And as you can see, when she broke down, she broke down hard and fast. Just did not stop. So you definitely wanted to get out of this before it happened. So let's zoom in, see what's going on here. There's our 10 minutes. Matter of fact, let me move this over just a little bit. Uh, no time level right there. There. All right. Fair enough. We've got our 10 minutes. So we hit a high bubble. She was climbing, climbing, climbing. Now she's going sideways. Then she had a big fall on the other side. What information can we get? Realizing that we don't see any of this fall yet. That's not visible to us. All we see are these two bars. So let's look down our window here and see what information we have. We have a rising nine day MA here, which is starting to fall, but it is the nine day. It does a lot of this even as it's climbing. So that's not a real strong signal. Our 20 day is still climbing. Our 50 day still climbing. Our 200, this isn't helping me at all. I cannot see a downfall coming. Now our oscillators are a different story. They do tell us that we've got something going on. Our PPO started to fall. Right here, my ADX changed directions. This tells me when I have a trend change. Our MACD is falling and our RSI is falling. So in this case, we do have a lot of information to back us up that something was going to happen, but we weren't getting anything from our MAs. As a matter of fact, I want to show you something here, folks. Here is when she started to fall. That was at uh, 11 o'clock. Here is our 20 day MA showing a fall coming. That is at 1130. Right here is where our 50 is starting to fall. That's 1230. And our 200 isn't even showing us a fall yet. My point is all of these MAs are lagging behind. They don't show a fall till much later. So they don't help you finding falls right now. Do the EMAs? Oh yes, they do. Let's zoom in on that. We're going to go into this area right here. And there's our 10 minutes. We are climbing, 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 going sideways. Then we have our big fall. What information do we have in our window here? Well, here we are up at the top with our five day. It is falling. Our eight day, it is falling. Our 13 day has gone flat. There's a lot of signals here, folks. Now, obviously the next bar makes it totally clear that everything is starting to go. Let's come on down to our oscillators where they're the exact same thing as we had over here. So we definitely see that these are showing signs of weakness and all of our oscillators show signs of falling. This was going to fall. So you could get out here over here, folks. Let's take a better look. If you're just reading your chart, you're saying, oh, I hope this bounce. I hope this bounce. Well, she dropped from here to here is two cents. Then she dropped here another three cents. That's a nickel. By the time you figure out she's falling, you've already lost five cents. Now here you would have probably lost two cents, but that's better than five. And the more expensive your stocks get, the bigger these bars can be. My point again, folks, look at our MAs over here. You really can't tell me that that told you this drop was coming. 
these MAs all changed current right in that 10 minute window and then started the drop in that 10 minute window. We had our signals. There was no reason to be in this anymore. We should have had our trade set up and be out. And that's all there is to it, folks. We are looking at the 5, 8, and 13 EMAs. Now, I'm not going to go into any explanation on how to set this up because one, I don't know what trading platform you use. And even if I did, I wouldn't know how to set it up. I only know how to set up Thinkorswim. So I'm sure you already know. And if you don't know, I'm sure you can figure it out. And as you see, you don't have to sacrifice one set of MAs for another set. You can create all these different sets so that you can actually have two windows open if you wanted to. Something you're familiar with so you don't feel out of zone. And then something new that's giving you insight to stuff you can't see over here. I hope this helps, folks. Do some more research. It isn't going to hurt you, but I think I've shared enough with you so you can try this on Monday. Remember, folks, the more you know, that's right, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.